Hey, I'm Sensei Matt Federico, and this is going to be our sparring video. So, um, sparring video introduction. So if you're just starting sparring, uh, first thing I want you to know is to follow the first and most important rule, which is don't get hit. Um, obviously, it sounds logical, that makes sense, but it's a rule that a lot of people break when they first start sparring. Uh, they think, more importantly, that they have to hit the other person first, but the most important rule in sparring is not getting hit. And the reason being is uh, two reasons. One, if you get hit, you're not gonna enjoy sparring. That's a big one. You're not gonna enjoy sparring if you get hit. So the first rule to understand is when someone tries to hit you, not getting hit. Number two is, if you just worry about hitting the other person and you don't worry about not getting hit, eventually what's gonna happen is a clash, meaning Sefai Justice is gonna hit me, I'm gonna hit him, he hits me, I hit him, he hits me, I hit him, and then it matters who hits harder. And then that's not really what you want sparring to be about, because then the person um, who's stronger is always going to win, and that's not how sparring should be. So here we go, rule number one. Stand up, let's learn it. Uh, I warmed you guys up mentally, now physically. So stand up, come on. Don't watch the video and not stand up, I said stand up. Thank you. Okay, here we go, so here we go. So first thing you do, you get in the fighting stance, put your fist down. If you're not standing up, you should feel really guilty as you're watching this. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna shuffle back. So hand comes back, foot comes back, shuffle. So all you do is you get in the fighting stance, if you're lefty, you can switch to the other side. All right, do the same thing. So all you do is very simple. Wait on the front leg, Push off, that's it, that's all you're working. If you want a little more advanced, you can do this. You're gonna close a little bit, then shuffle back. But just as a good base, hand up, shuffle back. Now, you get this, you know, at any pool store, it's just a noodle, you just cut it in half. And it's a good thing to practice with because you can hit someone, it doesn't really hurt. See, like really, does that hurt? Nope. Sounds cool, but it does, you know, it's, it's very foamy, it doesn't hurt, even if you hit them in the head, it doesn't really hurt, it's very, very soft. Uh, so I like training with these a lot because I can swing really hard and fast and I don't have to worry about hurting Sefai Jesse. So what he's going to do is he's going to find a spot, he's going to get in a fighting stance, right? He's going to shuffle forward and then when I go to hit him, he's going to shuffle back. Just like that. So he shuffles forward, shuffle back. If that's too hard, he can just start on the line and then I try to hit him, boom. Same concept. You see how he's staying on the line? As soon as I move, he moves. Uh -oh. And you notice, it's okay if the person goes to hit you and you move, move. It's not okay if the person goes to hit you and you don't move, because then what will happen is you'll get hit. So when the person goes to hit you, boom, you move. So if you're at home practicing, you should just practice. Every time I swing, you move. Did you move? You should have moved. Again, every time I swing this, you're going to move. Let's do it this way. So you get a good angle. Every time I swing, you're going to shuffle back. That was good. Okay. Oh, wait. I hope you moved. Every time I swing, show back. I wonder if I can hit the camera. I'll get closer. Wait. Oh, I got it a little bit. All right. That makes a nice sense. Okay, show back. That's it. Get in the hand. Good. All right. So the whole idea is this: you want to learn, especially in sparring, is when someone moves, have that reaction skill. Even if you don't um, get hit, even if they don't swing, you have to move. Because as soon as I go, there's a chance you can get hit. So, boom, it's that. Boom. If you're doing this correctly, this front leg, after a lot of these, should get really tired. But again, it will get stronger the more you do it. So one more time. I got to hit some with Jesse. Oh, I got him. I got him. Good. So again, moving as soon as the person uh, goes after you. How will this translate to sparring? You see, every time my hand moves, Senpai Jesse has a reaction. All right, and this is just working on not getting hit. Now, there's deeper parts in sparring that we can go into, but for right now, rule number one, just basic. This should be the first thing you should work on sparring. I'm Matt, oh, I'm Sensei Matt Federico. This is Senpai Jesse. And that's rule number one, sparring. Try it out. Let me see you guys get up and do it.